We're going to start things off with our top story, though. That trucker protest in Canada. Well, it could soon spread to the U.S. Chris Van Cleve has more on what the Department of Homeland Security is warning. For a fourth morning in a row, Canadians protesting vaccine mandates are blocking traffic on the Ambassador Bridge. It functions as a vital link between the U.S. and Canada, America's largest trade partner. Now there are new concerns. Similar protests could soon caravan across the U.S. In a bulletin to law enforcement, the Department of Homeland Security says it received reports a convoy of truckers plans to potentially block roads in major metropolitan cities and severely disrupt transportation. The DHS alert says the convoy could begin Sunday in Los Angeles, the site of the Super Bowl, gathering truckers as they travel across the country, possibly reaching Washington, D.C. on March 1st, the same day as the State of the Union. Any layer of complexity you throw on to a major event like the Super Bowl, it creates uh, potential problems. Potentially, they could keep uh, certain roads open only to emergency vehicles. We are Protests are already impacting auto manufacturing on both sides of the border. Ford, GM, Toyota and Chrysler's parent company are all experiencing production disruptions. Traffic is being diverted to another bridge some two hours north, where trucks are waiting up to four hours to cross. It just keeps going on and on. The longer this persists, Canadians that depend on jobs, that rely on trade, will be impacted. There is mounting pressure in Canada to break this blockade, but there's no timeline as to when there might be some resolution to the protests. As of this morning, there's no traffic coming across the bridge in either direction. And in terms of the Super Bowl, the law enforcement expert you heard in our story there says there are contingency plans in place for a mass protest, but big rigs are not something that are easily moved. And Murray? Uh, yep, they are certainly learning that in Ottawa. Um, so, Chris, you said there's no traffic either way. Is that because trucks are blocking both directions or did authorities just shut down one direction because of the protest? Well, last night we were seeing vehicles, including big rigs, come across the bridge from Canada into the U.S. Sometime overnight that stopped and we understand now that both directions are closed. The protest on, on the other side in Windsor, uh, we hear, is is a mix of pickups, uh, mm. re regular vehicles, some big rigs, but it, it is more of a supportive protest compared to the the uh, convoy of trucks that have besieged the Canadian capital in Ottawa. Uh, the Windsor police have asked for more resources, more officers to try to deal with this protest. And as we we're, we're just learned from General Motors that they had to suspend another shift this morning at their Lansing plant because of part shortages. Those shortages are coming uh, in part because they can't get the parts from their plants in Ontario, in Canada, back across the bridge, across the border quickly enough to keep up with their production needs. All of the big rigs are being sent to Port Huron, which is two hours away, mm. and that's a smaller bridge, so that's causing major backups. Wow. Uh, Chris Van Cleve, thank you very much.